What you wouldn't try What a way to kick off 2008. Thank you very much to Chris Goldfinger. As per usual, over the years, maintaining the very high standards in dance or business. Respect to you, sir. Check it out. When you see my paper, CDB live, give me that. Video, give me that. A new show, give me that. You got blunts to blow, give me that. Remote, give me that. Control, give me that. New whips, new dips, yeah. Give me that. I'm lying, give me that. Ah, uh, give me that. You spent with the tech, won't give me that. Hit the deck, give me that. Okay, what, well, give me that. Kicking off the show with the sound of Fotec. Little thing entitled D. Yeah, yeah. That is a crushing. We have got so many flavors for you tonight. I'm gonna let you taste some of the flavors. We've got MC Conrad up in the piece. Yeah. We've also got 5 on the phone. We're gonna be having a little phone chat with him. We've got some rather excellent new music. No top 10, just the number one tonight. I'm gonna be popping off some selection, trust me. Gonna be having my rant. 
very best music. Hope you had a good Christmas, a good New Year's. We'll be talking a little bit more a little bit later. Right now, it's time to make the music to the talking. Yeah. The sound of DRS alongside the mighty caliber from the forthcoming album, which is going to be a blaster. Killer Cuts tonight with Fabio. We've got MC Conrad in the piece. We've also got MC 5 on the phone. It's going to be hot, baby. It's going to be hot. Where do they run to featuring DRS? I've got to big up DRS. Was done a gig in uh, Sheffield just before Christmas, and uh, DRS is in a duo called Broken English. First time I've seen them out, I've heard a lot about them. They smashed it. Lyrically, very, very good. Love all the metaphors and uh, done a wicked freestyle, man, where they were just picking people out the crowd and you got to choose a subject and they rolled it out. So big, big shout. Going out to DRS. And it's rather apt we've got a couple of MCs up in the piece tonight or up in the house or up in the place. We've got 5 on the phone. We've got MC Conrad coming in, waxing lyrical. Also got to say that in the future, we're going to be looking to bring some more MCs in, you know. Got to bring in the other side of the fence as well. Big up to Skibs, to X-Man, to MC Fun, to Shabba. Also to SP, to Verse, to all the mans out there doing their thing week in, week out and blazing up the spot. Not going to forget any of the mans. We're going to be bringing some more MCs in doing their thing in the forthcoming weeks.
As I said, we have got real flavour for you tonight. Going to start off the year as I mean to go on. We've got some different flavours. Forget 2007 now, it's a new day, it's a new dawn. So bringing you some different business tonight, different shizzle. Little thing entitled Lynx is playing at my house. Great title. Hope you had a good New Year's and Christmas because my, you know what, Christmas is great. But it's like Grand Dog Day, isn't it? It's like this big, intense build-up, shopping, four o'clock, Christmas afternoon, I'm sleeping. Too much food in the belly. I'll tell you what, I had an intense Christmas because I'd done my Christmas shopping on Christmas Eve. That's me. I can't really get into the spirit doing it before and it was a nightmare. Bought wrong sizes, etc, etc, etc. Got stressed out. Man, it was deep. But I hope you had a good Christmas. Hope you had a good New Year. Check this flavour out. It's Fabio. It's Radio 1. Roll another VIP. 
sound of Sinistar before this a track entitled Lynx is playing at my house big tune one of the biggest tunes around the Christmas New Year's time little remix of Bambata by Break he done it right this is big so big had to rewind that As I said before this, we had a track called Lynx is playing at my ass by a guy called Sinstar, straight out of Detroit. Big up to you, sir. One of my buddies on AIM, sending some wicked beats out at the moment. Watch out for him. I think he's going to be a big name by the end of this year. Also, listen, I want to send this one out to my boy, Groove Rider. As we all know, what has happened and... Uh, I cannot go into things because of legal reasons, because lawyers are working on certain things at the moment. That's why it has not been mentioned. But big love going out to my boy. What else can I say? But I know you would be loving this track. And when you're back on the ro ro road soon, baby, I know you're going to be blasting this. Shy FX versus Break. Bam Battle Remix. It's Fabio. It's Radio 1.
Liquid Funk, the sound of Fabio on Radio One. Fabio, 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 Sound of red eyes, little thing entitled Turn Around, loving that. Right, as I said tonight, we've got a couple of the 
grand MCs of drum and bass. One of the real names, one of the real peeps. I remember seeing this guy around that early 19... Well, 1988. He's been around since day dot doing his thing. 5-0, what's up, dog? What's up, my brother? Yeah, what's up? You good? I'm good, King. How you doing? I'm here, man, representing, baby. Yeah, man, as always, my brother. You're always ripping, brother. So what's up, man? Because, you know, listen, man, we, we've been on a road a long, long, long time, and, man, you've been holding it down for, like, the good part of 20 years, son. So what, what how, how you, have you kept in the game, dog? I'll tell you what, you know, you know, my brother, it's just uh, a lot of praying and a lot of inspiration from guys such as yourself yeah. and Ryder. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? Always keeping me inspired to always be creative, you know what I'm saying? And stay on top of the game, you know? For real? When I look up to guys such as yourself and Ryder, uh-huh. you know, it gives me a great deal of inspiration to, to still stick to what I believe in doing, you know? And something that I love doing. How you did know, you get into the game, man? Something that I give love to, something that I love me back to. How did you get involved in the whole thing? How well, did you, you know, you know it was... Um, to be honest with you, it, it, and I said again, guys such as yourself and Ryder was my, you know, my inspiration for wanting to be in this, you know, actually coming to actually listen to you guys for the days of the, um, you know, the days of the Acid House. Guys for such real. as yourself and Kid Bachelor. Yeah. You know, guys, yeah. you know what I mean? You guys were the ones lifting my spirits and inspired me to say, you know something, I'm confused around, you know, I could bring something to, bring something to this game here. Uh-huh. And I said, like, listening to guys such as yourself and, like, and Ryder, who was going everywhere to listen to you guys and then actually be and actually being alongside with yourself and performing alongside yourself you know for me it's one of the greatest one of the greatest love for myself and one of the greatest things that I can see as an achievement in myself in this scene so over the years I mean you know of, of course we started off when uh, house music I mean people forget that we was playing house at first man you that's know what right I'm that's correct and that's then it turned into drum right. but you've seen a lot of changes in the MC game over the years how have you adapted to the change and the different styles and, and and what's been going down over the last kind of couple of decades, well, man. Well, you know what, Fab? You know, I've got this saying, yeah? If we don't change with time, time will change Word. us. You know, so, so I true, just adapt to the environment, what's, what's ahead, what's been put in front of me, and I can only just adapt and be creative. As long as I stay creative and stay true to myself, I'll always be, I'll always be doing what I'm doing because I, I love what I do. I don't like what I do. I love what I do. So the many changes come along, and I'm always able to find a, a creative way of being able to change it and adapt to that uh, that arena, so to speak. For real, man. Just to perform more with guys such as yourself and, and ride at all times. Yeah. You know, that's always going to be top of the agenda because. You know, you guys are the alpha and the amiga at this business. Yeah, care not yeah. what anybody want to say. <laughs> right, I'll say right now, live on Radio 1. Ryder and Fabio are the alpha and amiga of the business. I'm going to get you up in the studio soon because I know oh, that. I love that. I, know, I, I know, love that. But anyway, listen, bless. And I'll see, I'll see you on the road because I know... Yeah, we will. We will catch up. I know you're going to... I'm going to see them no, glasses around Fabio. some way. I'm going to see them glasses around and I know you're in the building, dog. Yeah, you know that. You know my word is the jungle. It's fun. I the jungle. Pull up! <laughs> <laughs> Bro. Easy for the best right, radio one listeners. Love up for the interview. Yeah, bless Love my brother. That. Thanks Love again. That. Yeah. All right, peace. Big up, King. Once right. again, bless Easy. fam. Easy. One up, family. Nice one. One fam.
many thanks to Five O. He's been big in the game for a long, long time. And as he said, you know what? All the haters can hate. But let's forget, you cannot forget history. And that guy's been around since 88. Two decades in this business. Give him respect. Many thanks, 5-0. Going to see you on the road very soon. Right, we've got some Facebook shizzle. Do you know as well, they have... <laughs> Actually, we haven't got a thrill in it. Thrill? <laughs> we haven't got a thrill in here tonight. We have got my wonderful assistant, like Anthea to Bruce, we've got Fryer in here. Do you know that they have um, disabled my Facebook page, man? They've disabled my page, man. I had, right, about two and a half thousand friends, and they've crashed my page. Can you believe that? So I've sent them a, the, the rudest email ever. They better put it back on. But anyway, I've got another page, and it's the Fabio and Groove Rider locked onto Facebook page. If you want to join us, go to groups and look up Fabio and Groove Rider locked onto Facebook and click on the join button. And uh, each and every week, we represent brand new members to our group. So we've got a big up Sean Miner from the West Midlands, John Cleves from Bristol, Richard Leap from Leeds, James Reese from Nottingham, Jill Deleuze from London, Edward Bryan from Brighton, Martin Kern from Germany, Phil Halchurch from London, Olivia Joyce from Switzerland, Bevan Ward in Bristol, and Candice Crawford from Glasgow. Thank you all for joining. We've got 2,170 members now. That's Fabio and Groove Rider locked onto Facebook. As I said, go to groups and just log on, and you can be a part of our gang. Right, we have got MC Conrad coming up real, real soon. We're going to have a chat with Conrad, and uh, we're going to be playing a little bit from uh, Ministry. Over the Christmas period, uh, Ministry done their thing, little old school thing, logical progression. Wicked, wicked night. Zinc, myself, LTJ in the place. Heavy. Also got to big up the hospital guys. They took over Fabric last week for a heaving session. It was absolutely killer in there. So big up to hospital. High contrast. Good to see Danny Bird. Also Diane Cross were over there. Scientific. Ram to the rafters. Stunk of farts in there. But hey, Jostix, I tell you what, we should have all bought them that night. Because it, oh, damn. I think the norovirus is flying around. <laughs> oh, it's got to be said, man. Since that smoking ban, it's like, yo, what is up? Arms, feet, sweat, all kinds of other things going on, man. It's like, whoa. Brand new from Illogic and Rap. It's Fabio. This is how we do. Radio 1, Fabio FM, baby. MC Conrad coming up in about 10.
Is some deepness. Sorry, my mic went off. I ain't gonna lie. Come on, what's the point? Woo! Listen, man, it's 2008 now. I've got to step up the game. That is some different programming there, man. We got MC Conrad coming up real soon. No charts tonight. Got a problem with that. My team Tottenham. You know, we're doing alright. We're middling to awful at the moment. But um Berbatov, if you want to go, son, go. Let's get 30 million for him. Walking around skulking. He's a luxury player. We've got four strikers. Our problems are at the back. End of story. <laughs> Classic time. I think we're going to have Conrad after this. One of the great drum and bass tunes. And I know I always say it every time I play it. But this one is from my boy Ryder. The great charade. Say no more. It's Fabio, it's Radio 1. This is how we flex Saturday night, Sunday morning. Two to four every week, we're here. First show of the year that I'm here doing my thing. Loving it, loving it, loving it.
Sound of Charade, a track that has been uh, played, I think, 150,000 times on Groove's MySpace page. A classic tune that never, ever came out. It was done... uh, Marvin Gaye's son got signed up to Sony 10 years ago, then got dropped, and the tune never came out, and it's been a cult classic for the last 10 years, and and Riders decided never, ever to bring it out. So he wants me to play it on the radio, the full version, so people can tape it. (laughs) That's all good. We have got one of the great MCs coming up. We've got MC Conrad in the house. He's coming up after the next track. We're going to be talking to him. Also, we're going to be playing a little piece of Bookham and Conrad from Logical Progression just before Christmas. And what a night it was as well. Setting the pace for 2008, because this is a breakthrough year for drum and bass. We've all been going for so long. And last year was kind of like drum and bass knocking on the door. Now it's time to kick those doors down. We've got some great albums coming out. Alex Perez, Calibre. Also an album from Sub Focus coming. Cross Die. I think Clips is doing an album. Ronnie Size is back as well. Trust me, Ronnie Size is back. Next week on the on my show, we are going to be playing some brand new Ronnie Size business. Trust me, he is back. So the whole full cycle camp or ex-full cycle will all be bringing out tunes and I can't wait for that. A one guy that is going to be bringing out an album real soon, Alex Perez. Little thing entitled Pressure straight after this. MC Conrad is Fabio. It's Fabio FM. in one of my favourite tracks of 2007 track entitled Pressure watch out for the album from Alex also Lynx has got an album coming as well man I ain't even saying nothing and as I said have you been looking for me on Facebook after all I've done for him they've deleted my page I am so raging about that Con- Conrad you know that they've deleted my Facebook page man what? they've deleted my page after all the props uh, listen I've written them an email saying 
excuse me, but I'm absolutely disgusted that you have deleted my page after going on national radio and boosting up your social networking thingy, Bob. It's like, come on. <laughs> you know me. But anyway, I'm digressing because I've got to announce this guy properly. He's been around as long as uh, he probably saw the animals going into the ark. <laughs> around so long is like part of the woodwork the mighty mighty mc conrad is in the house what is up conrad i'm all good fab I'm you're all good. right man yeah man good to have you here man yeah after, yeah after all these years we've had danny on here yeah quite, you know he's come and uh bum rush the show quite a few times yeah. and uh it's, it's it's great to have you on the show after yeah man Years and years and years of kind of like doing your thing on the road and, you know, you're finally here. Yeah, man. I'm in the house. So, anyway, listen, we've got to start somewhere and let's start with the a question that I've got to ask you because I don't even know the answer myself. Mm -hmm. Is how did you and Danny meet up? Uh, I mean, before I go on, mm. I think you're, you and Danny have this incredible... Um, thing together i mean it, mm. it's 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 worked over the years and it still sounds as good as it's ever sounded and it's this magic that you two have got and you know as great a dj as danny is mm. without you i don't think it would be the same thing man i think it's just like a yin and yang thing so how did you guys meet up in the first place um we we met back in 1991 i think it was and um i i've been going out I come from the hip hop scene mm -hmm. and kind of found myself sort of getting involved in this whole rave scene when the hardcore thing started and the breaks. So hold on, because you you knew guys from uh, Hijack and Silver Bullet. Was it Silver, well, the, Bullet? Silver Bullet? Was was actually a member of my crew. hip hop group? Yeah, wow. part of the crew, part of Triple Element. And right. um, as we got signed. Um, I got kicked out of the group. It was a group I started on. I got kicked <laughs> out of my own group. Um, and he, he he got picked up as an option as a, as a solo artist. So, Are oh, you being serious? Man? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but, but at the same time, we were still like a crew on street and hanging out. Yeah. So we we as a crew produced the, the, the main two tracks for Silver Bullet, uh, Bring Forth the Guillotine and yeah. 20 Seconds and kind of pushed that. Okay. Um, but I just, I just felt at the time myself... You know, I, I, I also got invited to get involved with, with Caveman and a few other groups, but it just weren't the same. Do you know what I mean? Um, so I kind of started getting involved in the whole Ray thing. That everybody, you know, I, I look around one minute, everybody's into Public Enemy. Turn around, next minute, everybody's kind of jumping around in a field and <laughs> <laughs> all kinds of things are going on. I'm like, well, I've got to get involved in some of this. Um, so kind of fast forward from like the late 80s to 91. Uh, I was going out to telepathy at Marshgate Lane. Um, met DJ Trace there, and and I've been kind of hijacking the mic in 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 the two rooms in, in the main room, jumping on and getting on with Rat Pack, and going in the back room with 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 um with a whole whole host of guys that were kind of playing very early sound drum and bass. Yep. Um, I wanted to link with a DJ and really get involved. I was quite influenced by what Rat Pack were doing and, and, and that whole partnership. For real. Um, and That's Everson and Mark, man. Everson still, and Mark, yeah. They're still going strong, still as well, going man. strong yeah, man. Yeah, for real, man. Yeah. Um, and Duncan, DJ Trace, said, look, there's a guy that you've got to meet. Um, I, I, I think, you know, you'd really, you'd really meld with him. Um, this guy Bookham, who I'd heard about, but I wasn't kind of going out to the same parties that he was playing at. <laughs> um, and I was like, who is this Bookham guy? Turns out there's a, there's a, there's a private party going on in the home counties. Um, well, I say private party, it was, it was a rave on a farm, <laughs> you know. Um, and, and I end up going there. Duncan's there, and he says, look, this, this guy Bookham's turning up tonight. He's playing, playing one of the sets. You know, you, you guys should link. Yeah. We did the set together. Um, was introduced, did the set together. Danny, even even up to this date, still records every single set that he plays. <laughs> <You know. laughs> Such a narcissist, man. Oh, mate. <laughs> I didn't go there. He, he, is, he is music pervert, number yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, for real. Um, so he recorded that set. Um, and we, we're still yet to dig out that tape, actually. He's got it somewhere. He hasn't. Yeah, he's yeah. He's, he's still got that tape, man. Damn. <laughs> so... <laughs> From hearing the tape, 
he was like, I like what this guy's doing. You know, he, he leaves space in the music for the music to breathe. He interacts. This 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 can work. So he, he kind of chased me down. This was the days before anybody had like mobile phones or anything. So we'd bump into each other at free raves and and different parties. And he'd be like, Yeah, just just get on the mic and you know if you want to get involved in what I'm doing, hang out. Yeah. Um. And so we just kept on playing all these free raves. Um. At the same time, I was sort of plugging myself to some of the bigger promoters, Murray. Rest in peace. Yep, that's um, right. The guys from Fantasia, uh-huh. uh, the guys from Perception. I was just pushing myself out there and, and trying to get on these on these shows. Yeah. And Murray actually gave me, you know, the break of my life and said, "Look, I've just seen what you do. At, at, we, I did uh, Fantasia Bournemouth. Uh-huh. I did a little bit on LSD set. I've just seen what you've done, you know, and I, I like what I like what you're doing. And the, the Dreamscape before." He actually turned me down and I kind of walked out of the building going, I'm going to get you, I'm going to get you. To <laughs> so, you know, I turned around and said, you know, do you like what I'm doing now? And he's like, yeah, 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 who, who else do you MC for? And I, I mentioned a whole host of DJs, Booking being one of them. And he said, you know, come through and do Danny's set. Yeah. Danny had the, the 6 a.m. set, the last set of the, of the night. Uh-huh. Um, and yeah, we, we smashed it. We smashed it, you know, and and as you say, that that thing that happens between it me just and Danny, it happened that it night. It happened full on there yeah, and then, yeah, you know, yeah, for real, and, and, for real. and freaked freaked me out, and I'm sure it freaked Danny out. And yeah, we kind of just made this 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 unspoken kind of agreement that, that we was going to try and and, and work carry together. Up. Yeah, and work together. And here we are, you know, ninety one that was, and here we are, two thousand and eight. That is crazy. Two thousand and eight. Yeah, I didn't even know you met up like that, man. That, yeah. that is that is crazy. Yeah. So what, what was the next step there? You you kind of like started doing all the big parties with him and yeah, started Dan, going on the road and... Danny would, you know, he, he'd fight off other MCs. Yeah. You know, and say, give that guy the mic. That's my MC. Uh-huh. You know, um, and just gave me a, a, a huge bring in into what he was doing because, I, as I say, I was doing more of the free rave side of things, going to Spiral Tribe, Exodus... Um, circus Man, and, you're bringing up some names. You yeah, know. yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that, that was my thing, you know, because um, I found a lot of the, the big rave promoters would actually come there and hang out. Yeah, after so they it was your, their night. Yeah, your yeah, chance was, to be heard. Definitely. So Danny gave me a massive bring-in into what he was building up amongst the club and, and, and the big paid rave yeah. scene. Um, and just gave me a big opening to, to kind of do my thing. Um, we get to about 94, 95 and, and Danny's setting up good looking records. Uh-huh. Um, signed for London Records for, for Logical Progression Volume 1. Uh-huh. Um, and puts on Logical Progression at the Ministry of Sound. Uh-huh. Um, and sets up the label and I'm invited to sign as other guys were, to the label and become a, a, an exclusive artist. That's right. And anybody that knows their drum and bass history knows the story. That's, you know? well, yeah. that's history in a can, bruv. Yeah. Wicked. But <laughs> listen, now, because we're going to talk some more, mm-hmm. um, but this is a tune that I'm going to play. I specially dug it out. Okay. Because uh, it reminds me of yourself and Danny. And this is a tune that really, when I first heard it, Mm. It changed my whole perception of the music because it was at a time when Jungle was massive. Mm-hmm. And this tune, and it's it's one of the greats. Just the first few notes and it just sends tingles down your spine. It's Fabio alongside MC Conrad. We're talking, we're playing music, we're doing our thing. Check this track out. I, you know what? I've been playing this track again and it's been going off. One of the greats. <laughs>
Danny Bookham and the magical music. You remember that tune, ain't it, God? I know sure that, you man. Do. I know that. So your influences now, mm. you've got a very... You really remind me of Rakeem. You've actually. always said that. You really have got that flow. It re, you really remind me of Rakeem. So tell me about some of your influences in, um, in, the, in the music. Boy, well, hip-hop, you know, I'm... I'm I still remember the first time I heard hip hop and rap. Do you know what I mean? I was like nine, ten years old, and I remember watching John Craven's News Round and, <laughs> and, and seeing Rocksteady Crew and and, and uh, Herbie Hancock the Rocket. Right, right. Do you know what I mean? So it, it goes back to like the first first time it touched the shores. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? And obviously growing up with it, I've sort of dug around in it, and you know, there'd be there'd be names that I'd mention that people go, who, what, yeah, huh? you know, Cool Herc. Um, Spoonie G, yep. Um, you know the people that that, that, that made the thing. KRS, York, you know what I'm saying? Grandmaster Flash, yeah, Gra- Grandmaster Flash, Karis, yep. Public Enemy, yep. Um, Run. Marley Mole, That's big right, influence, man. man. That that guy's put put some of the greatest hip hop, yeah, for out. real. Um, who else? Run. Um, Run DMC, of course. Of course, of course, man. Um, the, ho- the whole, the whole of that whole kind of Def Jam recording thing. Cool J, yeah, Beastie Boys, EPMD, EPMD. Yeah, oh man. man, yeah, EPMD was sick, oh, mate. They were mad <laughs> sick. Trust me, man. Yeah. Uh, and then you fast forward to now. Um, we're talking like Mad Lib, uh-huh. um, MF Doom, uh-huh. on the insane, right? Insane kind of what that guy's doing. Um, so you're you're into the real underground, real true blue, yeah, true for real. blue, true blue every day, way. all day, man. Yeah, it's as, like as all... say, I'm not into rap, I'm into hip hop. Yeah, 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 for real. Which, 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 there's a difference. There is a difference. There is a big difference. And you know what? Don't get me wrong. I'm not hating on mm. either side, but there is a difference. There is hip hop and there is rap, and you know, mm. I, mm. I'm not even going to go into the differences, but there's a lot of differences. There is a huge difference. Yeah. So wh- how do you keep your motivation up? Because you've been on the game mm-hmm. for, for on the game. Well, <laughs> maybe I should rephrase that. <laughs> I'll rephrase that a little bit. You've been in the game a long time <laughs> and there's a lot of travelling. How mm. do you get, still keep motivated? Do you still write lyrics for it, for instance? Of course you, you do. Yeah. yeah. All, all day, every day. Um, you know, it, it's the beats. Do you know what I'm saying? I've, I've been into this thing since I've been, you know, I've been into hip hop and, 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 and just studio technology, dance music technology, how a beat gets put together. Yeah. And that influences me to put words. You know, when I, when, when I didn't have a studio, my voice was all I had. That was the only instrument that I had. So, you know, making sounds with my voice, doing human beatbox, scratching with my mouth, anything to get involved in that, that beat structure. And it still goes on. You know, you've got the guys putting out so much music these days. You know, me and Danny were just talking. Or we, we say every day, you know, while, while we're on the road, that this is one of the most prolific, times. amazing times yeah. of, 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 our, yep. of this music. For real. You know, um, it might not have that classic edge of, of, the, of the late 90s. Yep. You know, when, when it was quite new to everybody. Yeah, of course, but of course. The, the music that's getting put out there, it, it's, it's incredible. You know, for want of a better phrase, we're like pigs in muck. Yeah, for real. You know, um, and, and that, that that's what keeps me going you know I, I, I hear a new beat and I'm like oh my gosh I've yeah. got to get on that I've got to get in that I've got you to still get, get hurt that. by beats oh man, man. that will never change never that change. will never change never change I'll be an old man you know Zimmer frame spinning around still getting hurt up in the nursing home <laughs> <laughs> so now you, you've you been um, you're not only kind of like uh, MC of course you, you do music as well and mm-hmm. you, you've been in the studio um, and you've got the album, you know, for different reasons, it's taken you a long time to do it because you know, you know, it goes. Mm, you know, things mm. happen and and stuff like that. Times change as well. This is what Sometimes, if you maybe sit on a product too long, it's too late because yeah. drum and bass changes so quickly. This is so, what, what what's the latest? Are you still working on that, or is still it still working? Um, it should be it should be ready to go, um, ready to hit the streets for late summer. That's what the label's got planned. Okay. Um, and I'm actually off to the studio straight from from here to go to go and put some finishing touches on some tracks with um, Zero T. Ah, yeah, very uh, I've cool. Been hanging man. out with those guys. Yeah, um, you know, the, the, as you say, you know, times change and and you can sit on something. And I think when I first started the album, I was like, yeah, I now know how to use a studio. It's all gonna be me. I'm jack yeah, of all it's trades. It's just gonna happen. It's gonna have this. It's gonna have that on it. Yeah. 
you know, and 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 now it's down to uh, I want to collaborate with with all the people that, that that write this music that influence me. Yeah, you know, and and there's so much of it, and there's so many different camps that I want to want to link with. Um, you know, I'll, I'll say ahead of time, there, there's probably some people that I've li- that I've promised to link with that won't that I won't be able to bless the album with. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Some certain people that I've, I've said, yeah, we're going to do a track together and it's going to be on there. Might not be on there. There's, there's too many out there. See, do you know see. what I'm saying? But it'll be a nice package. Do you know what I'm saying? There's, there's some there's some good sounds coming together. So are you going to you going to do some hip hop stuff? You're going to do some other stuff, or is it is it no, strictly I, drum and bass? I'm going to pay my dues to what what's given me my name, which no, is drum course, and bass. Of course, do you know man. What I'm of course. You know, a lot of people ask me, you know, and say to me, you should do some hip hop. You should do you should do this. You should. And I I love I love all of it. I love to do it all but I think first and foremost people know me because of drum and bass and I've got to I've got to deal with that and do that and then you know explore other avenues after see where it takes me but to kind of you know I, I, I don't want to flip people's heads out you know what is he is he a hip hop MC is he a drum and bass producer or, or do you see yeah, what you, is you want you want people to know what you do yeah yeah. you yeah. know what I'm saying don't confuse the issue I think a lot of people tend to do that they feel that they need to kind of show that they can make other music but as you said you know a guy like yourself who's been in the game a long long time mm. I think at the end of the day it's great that you're paying this your dues to this music 100% do you know what I'm saying mm, mm, mm. because you know uh, one thing about Danny and yourself I mean you know we've been around a long time and I tell you one of the big problems you can get nostalgic about this thing and sit down and think things were better then mm. and 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 lose your edge for today's music yeah. and I think what's great about Danny and about yourself that you still get yourself up for mm. the new music man because there is so much oh, new music and you know I do know a lot of guys from back in the day that have lost their way because they still hold on to the 90s man it's like right. yo you need to forget that that's gone and you know Con, you can remember even back in the nineties, people were complaining. Then, oh yeah, people have always complained. They've always said, "Oh, the music." It's the complainers thing, and you can't do anything about that, man. And you just got to keep your head down and just keep on doing it, man. man. So it's great that you guys have been digging in. Anyway, listen, I'm gonna we're gonna take a little break and Mm -hmm. play a little tune. And I know this is something that Danny's feeling. It's a little thing from Saber called Hex. Okay, this is a naughty tune. You know what? At the end of the day, I wish we had time. we could have set you up with this tune because I know you're feeling this beat, man. It's Fabio and MC Conrad. We're talking about past, present and future. We're doing our thing and a uh, little thing that Conrad normally blesses but we're just going to let this one roll out right now. I love this tune. I remember Global uh, Gathering this that tune, started man. with this thing, man. This tune. It is sick. This is, I think this, this is a... Uh, Cypress Hill used this okay. sample, man, but it is crazy. Little thing in title, The Hex. It's myself, MC Conrad, this is how we do. Uh, we have got Conrad and Bookham recorded at the Ministry of Sounds. That's coming up in around 10 to 15 minutes. We're just talking, baby. It's Fabio FM, Radio 1.
sound of Sabre and a track called The Hex. Remember, it's Fabio Femme on Radio 1. Been blessed by MC Conrad, who's here. We're talking about what's popular. Yeah, I've heard, you, I've heard you spit over that beat, man. <laughs> I've heard you spit over that beat many a time. Mm, that mm, is mm, such mm, a mm. sick tune, man. Nah, that tune takes me away, man. Takes, takes me away. Takes One me of them away. proper old school kind of flavors yeah. on that. Yeah, man. yeah, 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 yeah. So what's the plans for yourself and Danny this year? I know you're always on the road, always going to different places. Do you still find it... Um, you know what? Because sometimes when I go away, you do Asian tours. Mm. And you sit down and think, man from where we come from when you stay in nice hotels and, mm, mm, mm. and don't you feel I feel so blessed man I, you know man. I know a lot of people man and, and they take this really lightly like oh I'm really bored and I'm like what? how can you be bored what you can you can this is the apart from maybe being a top class footballer or maybe this maybe maybe a porn star this is kind of like the best <laughs> job you could put do you know being a porn star I think would be quite tiring actually yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's not as easy as it all, looks all, isn't all, it do you know what I mean stop starting and... well there we go <laughs> right <laughs> right off come hope you're yeah. listening but um yeah this is the best job in the world I mean yeah. it's not the, the, the hours are good Five and, and hotel oh come on please Plus man restaurants don't you don't you get up sometimes and you're in place and you think god how do I get here how did I get here man this is this is amazing yeah. man and yeah. you and being around for this long as well, mm, mm. you know what I mean? It's 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 an incredible thing, and uh, and that's great to hear from you that you still got that feeling, man. You've never ever given me the impression that you're bored or you've had now, enough. The, you, know, you know what gets to me? It's the travelling. It's the actual. Yeah. It's the. It's yeah, the for it's, real. I mean, especially like we're saying earlier on, since 9/11 and the whole security mm-hmm. checks. Mm-hmm. And, yeah. You know how do you how do you travel? It's with hard. One bag. Yeah, man. One, for one, real. You know that's that's the difficult bit. Cancel that out. Just get me. Put me in the TARDIS and and, and, and you be. Yeah, yeah. And that would make it too easy, I suppose. Yeah. <laughs> but you're right. The travelling thing is is pretty wearing, and it does weigh you down. You know, but you still meet some interesting people. Of course, man. You know, definitely, of course, man. So what 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 are you guys touring this year? Definitely, as, what, as, as as we always do. We're doing. Um, we've got the states tour. I think we've got an Asia tour coming up very soon. Asia's on fire at the moment, isn't it? Oh. Well, not literally, but it's <laughs> it's it's a great place because it's up and coming. Mm, for real, mm, 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 mm. they get they're, they're fully getting into it. You know, for a few years ago they were kind of more on the whole trance yeah. thing. Yeah. Um, no, they, they're getting in on their beats, man. They're uh-huh. getting on their beats. So we're going to be heading out there doing some bits in Thailand, uh-huh. Taiwan, Korea, Wicked. China, um, hitting up New Zealand, Australia. That whole area, man. So, are you going to do that in one go, yeah? Plan to, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. we do. Listen, these guys, you guys do some of the craziest... You do... you In the past, you've done, like, 30 dates in Mm. the States and stuff like that. Like, back to back. Mm, mm, mm. And, um... Rock and roll, man. Yeah, for real. What's the the point of travelling all that way for one gig? Yeah, for real. It doesn't really make a lot of sense. It don't make no sense. You know, if you're pushing a product and you're pushing a sound and, and you want people to hear it... You might as well go out and smash it all. Yeah, man. So, are you still a um, hard to wake up? Because <laughs> I've heard yes. stories, man, of like people having to kick down your hotel yes. to get you up and stuff like that. Because 2008, that ain't happening. <laughs> but yes, fam, I have been. I'm sure yeah. Danny's heard that all before, man. <laughs> and another thing, another thing as well, you do, and, and it's a real kind of like, um, you're not a lot of guys get to do this. You you play at Space every year in Ibiza, right? Mm, mm. And is that in the big room? Yeah. Um, there's the two rooms. Yeah, you do. The, the, but uh, it's still we do, like we, a we do the people. terrace. Wow. We do the terrace. I think it's like two two thousand, two and a half thousand in the room. You know, and, and Carl just says, "Come over, hang out for a few days, play what you want." Play drum and bass, yeah. house. You know, uh, last year it was us guys with um, Josh Wink and then Carl was in his room uh-huh. with um, Norman Cook. Crazy night. Shh, damn. Crazy night, man. And Ibiza's still got that mad magic, hasn't it? Oh, of course it has, man. Of 
course it has. Of course it has. And and, and it's good to see the whole thing kind of open opening up. Opening up a little bit. Yeah, you know, there's, there's the indie guys and the emo guys doing their thing out there. House guys, garage guys, drum and basses out there. Do you know what I'm saying? It, it's, it's, it's a... It's a a music lover's playground now. You know? Yeah, it used to be a little bit like house central. Too, yeah, yeah, it used too to be much. A bit, you know what I mean? But now I think they're really getting open to yeah. other forms of music. And if drum and bass really be. hits IB for that, is going to be the place to be, man. Trust me. Mm. But anyway, listen, we're going to have to kind of move on. But mm-hmm. anyone you want to big up? What's your MySpace, by the way? MySpace, MC Conrad. Words to be heard, I think. Okay. I've got about three pages, stealth pages going on over there. Um, but Facebook's the one, man. Yeah. Facebook. I'm, I'm more into the Facebook. Sorry, yeah. And uh, what's your what's your Facebook? Um, MC Conrad. All right. And how yeah. much friends are you running right now? Um, about a thousand ish. It's getting it. It's getting like about fifteen hundred. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. 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 oh, pardon yeah. me. I haven't been on there for a minute. Yeah, yeah, yeah for real. But I, I've, I've had my head in, in, in the studio, so oh, of course, I've, I've of not course, been on there for a few weeks. But yeah, it's doing all right on Facebook, and there is a MySpace link on there. So if oh, great. you want to link me on MySpace, you can go to the Facebook page and find it on on there. All right, and and also, and uh, when when are you really planning to kind of finish things for this kind of album, man? Um, we're gonna be we're gonna be wrapped up by by. I don't know, beginning of February. 2020. <laughs> <laughs> don't listen, February this year. Uh, yeah, February. Uh, what, don't you're getting the label worried, Are you talking Stop about that. this year, February, dog? This year, February. Oh, my God. It will be wrapped up. It will hit the well, we will be summertime. Truly I'm coming back down here. Out. I'm going to smash it. Oh, okay. Smash room up with some music. Wicked. And that's Fernie and them guys. Fernie, Taylor, all them cats. Fernie's cool, good, yeah? man. Taylor's good. Taylor's coming through with some bits for my album. Um, I've been jamming, like I said before, with, with Zero T, uh-huh. Alex, Total Science, wicked. SP's coming in, Verse is coming in. Ah, oh, oh, wicked. I'm, letting t- I'm, I'm telling you too much already. Yeah, you are. <laughs> You're giving the game away. Yeah. I think you've got to hold things back nowadays. Mm, you know mm, how it goes, mm, Con. Mm, mm, mm. Anyway, listen, Conrad, thank you very, very much for coming in. Thank you very much for um, coming I'll see you on the road, as I always do. As ever. Saw you on New Year's Eve, and we've done the thing there. And yeah, man. We're, 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 and, and we're planning to do some stuff together this year. Definitely. So I will see you on the road, and... and You've got to check this out, man. This is recorded at the Ministry of Sound. Logical progression. MC Conrad and LTJ Bookham. If we we're talking about that magic, here's proof of that magic. Check this out. For the next 20 minutes, Bookham and Conrad in the place. <laughs> Here once again. Big up the Moose. Big up the GQ. Big up the Fimo. <laughs> Anytime you want to come true, you know how we roll, you know how we flow. Logical. You know what to do. Signal sign. Light up. Scream. Shout. Jump around, get down, you know what to do. We're coming in, we're coming through. Oh, oh, acting like you don't know about this sound. Down low, 
We got a deep place to go. Lights down low. We got a deep place to go. We need and we want you. You ready out there, Lottie Go Crow? We need them, we want you To do what you came in to do Sounds of you know who We need them, we want you Lights down low, do what you came to do To do what you came in to do. Oh, TJ Mokamuti Conrad breaking through. <laughs> Got a feeling inside, wake it up. Slow and easy. Going in piece by piece, step by step by step by step. Just where it lies It's your vivid alive As it steps as the rise Inside the sound of the DJ Go new music Go back Make you love it like that Harder over oh, Harder be you Not to be I never knew the realms of my brain Reminisce I'm ever to maintain Flowing in my vein Hold on my soul You're on a roll In the main vein It's the pick I'm a fix, and I'm extra, I'm retrospective. The future with the feeling they can get directed, injected into a new plan of action. I don't need to be a word by word fraction by fraction. Step into the line of my sight. As quick as it started, I make my target. I ignite the mic, and sometimes I hold back. Keep it under a sign, and the bombs coming. I explode, quick as the drama drama. To me, what in front of vision in your mind. I can see it clear and say, same vision as mine. Need to confirm, need to define the reason the prime is rolling. I see a new world unfolding. Keep concentration with this sensation. Right about now, we're so patrolling. This is how we do Our vibes surrounding you Make some noise and let me know how deep Logical Crew How deep how heavy We need and we want you We need you, we want you, let the 
DJ Know How Team. That's right, logical once a year. Bring out that freak. Sounds of yesteryear. Come on, bass at his peak. Sounds of good times gone by. A knife for those that know And those that need to know Sans of superheroes your countdown to zero Step with this loop. Step with the loop. Step with this flow. Logic of progression. A night of all nights. What those that know.
Watch what's coming up, coming in, coming up. Lock in with the sound of the straw. Watch what's coming up, coming in, coming up. Book 
to break it down. Give him some time. Give him some time to catch up. The Beatmaster LTJ Bookham. That Get is the sound of LTJ Bookham and Conrad just before. Who was that, actually? That was um, 21st, which is the logical birthday. We, we started Logical Progression in uh, 1995 at the Ministry of Sound. And okay. we, go, we go back there every year and do our annual show uh, and just take everybody back to that magical era. Wicked, man. And that was a good night, man. That was lovely, man. I got there real lovely. late. I got there real late, though. You know what I mean? Mm, you know mm, when you get mm, a place a little bit late? Should have got there early, man. I it know, but come off. on. You know, it's life on the road, Conrad. You know, yeah. it's mad. But anyway, man, you got some big ups. Anyway, dude, mm. some shouts to give out. So I'll you, give you a shout out to my, to my man, my DJ, LTJ Bookham, Antoinette, Tony, all the good-looking crew, Anna, Dan Soulsmith, Alex, Remigus, um, my boy Taylor, Fernie, um, my mum, my brother, my sister, everybody, man. Everybody that knows me. The man in the corner shop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, I've got a Christmas card off there. <laughs> yeah, we got the man. You've got to give him love. Shop. Come on now. Yeah, man. You know how it goes. <laughs> but anyway, Conrad, listen, mm. many, many thanks. Many, many thanks for coming in. Best of luck with the album. Thank you. Safe journey on the tours and stuff like that because, you know, we know the travelling is, is real messy nowadays. Yeah. Best of luck with all the travelling and Same stuff like you, that. Man. And when the album's done, please come back in and uh, bless us oh. with a few tracks man because no uh, you've no got doubt. that kind of under wraps uh -huh. and that's the best way to do it nowadays and uh, as soon as it's finished just come in and we'll give you some love yeah, yeah man thank you very much to thank the mighty you. MC Conrad in the house we've also got another guest in here we've got the mighty DJ Bailey he's coming up after this He's going to present to you the number one in the One Extra Radio One chart, the first of the year. We're not going to do the chart, we're just going to play the number one. That's how we're going to do it tonight. Brand new from Calibre. He's got a brand new album coming out this year and it is absolutely sublime. This track is me. If you want to know what a Fabio track is, this is a Fabio track. It's absolutely wonderful, melancholy piece of music. Up after this, the number one in the DB chart this week with the mighty DJ Baby. It's Fabio FM. This is how we do Radio One, Saturday night, Sunday morning. Just do our thing, baby.
Saliba from the forthcoming album on Signature. Watch out for this, that album this year because it's going to be one of the big albums of the year. Now, speaking of 2008, we are going to go back to last year. 2007, we are going to have the biggest track of 2007. After a lot of research and a lot of head scratching, we have come up with the number one tune and we have got to bless us with the number one tune. One Extra's Mighty DJ Betty. What's up, B? Good morning. I'm all right. Yeah, you all right, man? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm good. How was Christmas and uh, New Year's? Was it deja vu? Was it the same old thing? You know what? I kind of did the Scrooge thing this year. I didn't even buy a tree or anything like that. I kind of copped out of Christmas because... <laughs> good. That's, that's a good move. No, I needed be. a break, man. Seriously, man. It's not even about... Um, who, who remembers about Jesus anymore? Listen, People are just buying listen, things and... Listen, man. The, the kids are worshipping presents, man. It's yeah. like, yo, do you know what day this is? When I was younger, man, it was all about this is the day Jesus was born. Yeah. Whether you're religious or not. But nowadays, I didn't even hear no mention of Jesus, man. Exactly. No one goes to church. I'm not even a religious man, but I just think it's all about the material things. So I just thought, nah, man, I'm going to leave it out this year. Plus, you know I had some friends over. It was a bit complicated this year. Oh, right. It was a bit messy, yeah? Yeah, yeah, a bit complicated. But, but you had a good one. Yeah, it was good. It was nice still. It was nice. It was Did you fall nice. asleep at four kind of thing after dinner and stuff like that? Uh, Well, uh, which dinner? I was going from house to house from... St- um, mother-in-law to my mum's house to an auntie's house I was, I was full up man uh, so it was all good though yeah it was very nice but so like, like, what you know to people that don't know what what time is your show no, no. <laughs> <laughs> anyway listen catch Bailey's show each and every Wednesday night um, also drum and bass 10 Biggest Tunes, counting down on a Wednesday night by One Extra's Mr. Jam. You can also get a free download of the One Extra d b chart on the website bbc.co.uk slash One Extra. Also, make sure you check out the show on a Wednesday night between 10 and 12. And Chrissy Chris got a big up Chrissy doing mm. his thing on a Monday night, Tuesday morning from midnight. Um, thank you very much, Bailey. Thank you very much, sir. I hope I'm going to bless your show soon. You need to get me back on there, Doc. Yeah, when you're ready. I'm All telling right, you, the door's ready, wide baby. open when you're ready. Okay. And check him out every Wednesday in the be- with the best of drum and bass. Many, many thanks to MC Conrad doing his thing. We have run out of time. Catch me next week with some brand new Ronnie Size flavours. I don't know if there's any interviews. I think it's just me next week. And I've got so much tunes. That is a good look for me. So until next week, stay out of trouble. Keep it Radio 1. Keep doing your thing. Happy New Year to you all.